They're caught, they're caught between the lesser of the two evils. In other words, they're caught in between a hard place and a rock, and, and it's like, do we just sit back and, and allow ourselves to be a punching bag? You know, to be basically uh, somebody's floor mat? Or are we going to make a statement here? And that's what they're doing. They're making a statement. And who would have thought that all these colleges, all these college kids in America would have been for Hamas? Well, I don't care what war it is. Anytime there's a real war, you're going to have collateral damage. You're going to have men that's going to shoot one another accidentally. You're going to have equipment that's going to tear up, that's going to cause uh, some fatalities. You're going to have collateral damage. But the way that they're doing it towards putting their uh, infrastructures underneath hospitals and schools and stuff, there's really not no way for you not to have collateral damage. There's really not no way for to not have collateral. And that just shows you how dirty that he is that basically using his own people as a as a shield. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a crazy thing, but we can't be on both sides of that fence. America cannot take care of the civilians completely, 100%, while a war that we're supporting and paying money to, to support them, or that we're, 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 we're for Israel, we're helping Israel, and we're also going into the country giving them aid and food and everything. We're fighting. We're, we're fighting ourselves. Well, at, Hamas is using our own weapons against uh, uh, us. Yeah. Against Israel. Some yeah. Our weapons are used. Yeah. Just like just like us leaving all all that equipment over there in uh, yeah. Afghanistan. That was such a, a, a embarrassment to this country. It really was. It made us weak. Yeah. It made us look stupid, didn't it? They took their, all that equipment, all those, all that stuff that they didn't blow up. Said it was said it was a billion plus dollars worth of equipment over there. Planes, helicopters, tanks, tanks. Uh, they, they didn't destroy all. We we got poor leadership, and and I don't know I don't know when it began. I think it began probably during the assassination of Kennedy, whenever whenever. Uh, our, our our breath got knocked out of us, or you know, the wind got knocked out of our sail, and ever since then, our politicians has been sailing us downstream. But Reagan, Reagan really stood up. Now Carter had them hostages, and Reagan said, "When I when I become president, day one, you're gonna release them one way or another." And they did. When they had the hostages, uh, the, they held hostage for I don't know how long. When Carter. But let me ask you something: Why should one administration? be totally opposite from another administration whenever they're all supposed to be working for we the people. Because those people are out for the money that they're getting for themselves, their grandkids, and for their great-great-grandkids, and they're putting them in foreign bank accounts. It's dirty, ain't it? They don't care about us. It's people. dirty. They, they don't care. It's themselves. Look, look, somebody offers you uh, uh, so much money to vote a certain way to get some sort of uh, law passed or bill passed. Or Look, when you, when you, when you talk about sending 105 to 10 billion dollars to to support Ukraine and uh, Israel and whatever else do you not think that some of that ain't going to be laundered back to all the politicians that voted for it sure it will it is sure it will it is it's being done and, and uh, it's dirty the american people were just like you know i'm like i could bite a nail into because i wonder well, what do you got to do to be heard around here it, I, if you ask me if you don't send that fucking money over there to you take care of this country first uh, have you ever walked in small town America here? Uh, none of them have, obviously, because uh, uh, there's a need for money in every small town in America. We got to bring back these little towns. We can't. Uh, uh, you, you got. Whenever the mama papa businesses started failing in America in the early 